Northern Luzon, Philippines, 1942. Barong is a terrible father who decided to sell his daughter to the ruthless Tiago in order to pay off many years of debts. Local residents are trying to stop him because Selena is a young and innocent girl, but he does not want to listen to their advice. On the way to the house, Selena sees Cora, Tiago's former slave, and realizes that nothing good awaits her here. She begs her father to change his mind, but Barong is ready to do anything to pay off his debts and get some more money. A little later, Tiago orders the girl to take off everything so that he can look at her shape and figure. At the same time, neither Tiago nor Selena notice that the blind Domingo is standing under the house and catching drops of water. In the evening, Barong discusses Tiago with other villagers. They are convinced that the tyrant has not only money, but also immense power, which makes him the main one. Berong believes that this can blind a man, making him vulnerable, so Tiago should not be treated as some kind of deity. Meanwhile, the tyrant orders the crying girl to come closer. Silena is frightened and afraid to get up, begging to have pity on her and let her go home. Tiago is annoyed by disobedience, so he beats her. Miling listens to the chatter of the men and does not understand how Barong can be so heartless towards his daughter. The man is not at all embarrassed by the fact that he sold the girl, since with her help he paid off many years of debts and can live in peace. At the same time, Tiago continues to subjugate Selena, realizing that she has no other choice. The girl gives up and fulfills Tiago's requests in order to save her life. Staying under the house, Domingo listens to all this, but can't do anything. At night, as soon as man falls asleep, Selena dresses and runs away to return to her home. She asks her father for protection and patronage, but he is no longer responsible for her. Irritated, Barong kicks his daughter out, putting her out the door despite the fact that it is night and bad weather outside. Waking up, Tiago notices the disappearance of the girl and asks Domingo to bring milk. The slave tells that Selena ran away, but this does not frighten the man because he is sure that she will have to return back. Realizing that no one needs her anymore, the girl returns to Tiago's house and notices Domingo sitting nearby. Selena decides to get acquainted with the slave, but he is silent, so she has to leave without waiting for an answer. Noticing the rug and pillow, the girl realizes that she has no right to lie down next to the owner and falls asleep on the floor. The next morning, the master of the house beats the slave because the rats ate the chickens, which he did not send to the chicken coop in the evening. From the conversation, Selena understands that Domingo is not only Tiago's servant, but also his son. A little later, the girl prepares dinner and decides to show compassion for Domingo. Despite Tiago's prohibition, gives the slave some food. A little later, Tiago melts the gold received from the villagers, turning it into a small ingot. As soon as it cools down, the man hides the gold with the rest of his savings, continuing to accumulate an impressive fortune that gives him strength and power over other people. Meanwhile, Domingo and Selena are working in the garden, discussing what is happening. As it turned out, Domingo is not the son of Tiago, but came to him at the age of seven due to the fact that his parents sold their son to pay off debts. Tiago is soon visited by Rosa, who has decided to sell the gold chain in order to cure her sick daughter in need of rehabilitation after being enslaved in the home of a tyrant. The jewelry is of poor quality, so the man exchanges it for just one silver coin and asks the woman to leave. Rosa tearfully persuades Tiago to give her some more money, and he makes concessions to appear more human. A little later, Selena helps Tiago with a sore leg and applies a bandage. He recalls Selena's mother and says that she was a beautiful woman who was ruined by her marriage to the helpless Barong. While working in the garden, Selena confesses her love to Tiago. Domingo leaves so as not to interfere when suddenly a military plane flies in the sky, scattering propaganda leaflets. Japanese soldiers warn that they will soon attack the islands and conquer them, eliminating American democracy. In the evening, Tiago, also in love, decides to make a nice gift for the girl and gives her a gold chain with a beautiful pendant. 
Watching the process carefully, Silena notices that other valuables are hidden in the closet behind the lock. Domingo, who has fallen in love with a young beauty, is jealous and sad, realizing that she completely belongs to Tiago. The next day, the couple goes to the village to meet with local residents. Selena is offended and does not pay attention to her father, pointedly ignoring him. People discuss the political situation and the threat from Japan, but no one takes it seriously, since they do not see much difference between who exactly will own their islands. Berong notices that Tiago has become kinder and has a smile on his face, but the man does not want to discuss this. Bino offers to try the coconut wine and evaluate its taste, and Meeling asks Selena to be more careful and vigilant. At night, the girl, after finding the key in the cache, she opens the closet to see its contents. Girl finds money, gold bars, and jewelry, with which anyone can turn into a wealthy and respected person. Selena immediately remembers how and why she ended up here. She used to have a family, but her father constantly beat her mother. Once she but Berong did not become softer and simply transferred all his anger and aggression from his wife to his daughter. A little later, Selena goes downstairs to talk with Domingo. She understands that the guy has sympathy for her and supports him. The girl admits what she's trying to do to Tiago Kinder primarily so that he does not beat the slave. Domingo does not want to deceive himself and warns Selena to be more careful. One day he tried to escape, but the men beat him after which Tiago took a red-hot metal rod and burned out Domingo's eye, making the guy not only obedient, but also a blind slave, unable to leave his house. Selena feels compassion for the guy and decides to calm him down. In the morning, the girl goes to the river to wash her clothes and meets Cora. The silent girl walks into the water and cries, still reliving the horrors she had to go through being next to Tiago. Selena tries to calm her down, but Cora reacts painfully, remembering everything what happened to her. Upon returning home, she sees how Tiago beats Domingo again, suspecting him of stealing gold jewelry. The girl offers to solve the issue radically and gives the man a sword, but he is not ready to take the guy's life. A little later, the girl offers Tiago to drink milk and pours it over so that he catches the drops flowing from her. In the process, Selena realizes that she has finally subjugated the imperious tyrant, turning him into an obedient man. At night, a wounded Japanese soldier approaches the house, planning to take the life of Domingo. Selena notices him and sends the invader to the next world. The slave asks not to show sympathy for him because it hurts him to live without a girl and her affection, and last night was the happiest in his life. Selena confirms the seriousness of her intentions. A little later, the slave and the girl have good time. Domingo asks Selena to be vigilant and not to trust the tyrant, since he can find another girl at any moment and get rid of her. In the morning, the owner of the house learns about the enemy who has entered his territory, and soon the trio set his body on fire. After dinner, Tiago offers to walk to the center of the village, but Selena refuses as she wants to get some rest. After going to the locals, Tiago meets Rosa and gives her some money. The woman throws them in his face, but collects the bills after the man leaves. While Tiago drinks with the locals, Selena packs her things and prepares to escape. In the evening, the man goes home, but he is so drunk that Barong decides to help him. Along the way, he throws Tiago to the ground and hits him, after which he decides to reveal the terrible truth. As it turns out, the man is barren, and Selena is the daughter of Tiago, who took his wife to pay off his debts. Having learned the truth, the man hurries home and notices that the girl is together with a slave. He attacks Domingo and tries to protect his daughter in order to tell her the truth. But Selena protects the guy and hits her own father in the stomach with a sword. Depriving Tiago of life, the girl sets fire to the house to destroy all the evidence. In the morning, she divides the stolen money and gold equally, after which she says goodbye to the slave, leaving him to his fate. Meanwhile, the villagers are evacuating as the Japanese soldiers are already on the island and will destroy everything in their path.